Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bella LaFay. And today we're talking about vertigo and the VNG test. I've had some problems with vertigo lately, and the two most common types of vertigo are central and peripheral vertigo. If you have a sensation of dizziness and the room is spinning, then you have central vertigo. And if you have the sensation of spinning and dizziness, but the room is not spinning, it's called peripheral vertigo. Now remember, vertigo is a symptom of a medical condition and not a disease in itself. So if you have vertigo, you need to go to your doctor to find out why you're having it. And so that's what happened to me. I went to my doctor to find out why I'm having vertigo and I had to take a VNG test. So let's get started and talk about that VNG test. A VNG test is a video nystagmography test that measures a type of involuntary eye movement called nystagmus. These movements can uh, be slow or fast, steady or jerky, and nystagmus causes our eyes to move side to side or up and down or both. And it happens when the brain gets conflicting messages from our eyes and the balance system of our eyes in the inner ear. These conflicting messages can cause dizziness. And so I want to have a VNG test. This is what happens. A VNG test is broken down into four different parts. So when you first get into the office, it's a very small room. You put on some goggles and they strap around the back of your head with a uh, stretchy strap. And the goggles fit secure around your eyes. And there's lenses in the bottom of the goggles. And the top part of the goggles appear to be sort of clear. And so the first part of the test is called the ocular mobility test. And when I took my test, uh, we sat in a dark room and I watched a screen that had a Lego potato head guy on the screen. And I had to watch the Lego potato head guy with my eyes as he went left, right, up and down. And meanwhile, the camera inside the goggles is monitoring or uh, videotaping my eye movements and there's a monitor over by the technician where they can see my eye movements as I follow the little uh, the little potato head guy. So the second part of the VNG test is you continue to wear your goggles and you're moving your head meanwhile they're still focusing on videotaping your eye movements. So with your goggles on, you're moving your head to the left and to the right, up and down. And the video inside the goggles is um, recording your eye movements on the monitor. The third part of the VNG test is the positional nystagmus test. So you're moving your head and your body and the video is taking pictures of your eye movements. So I had to uh, lean back and move my head and focus on keeping my eyes open so that they could take the video of my eyes. So I was turning my head and leaning back and I'm doing it for both sides, turning my head and leaning back and they continue to take um, videotape my eye movements. The fourth part of the VNG test is the caloric test. So I was laid, laying back, and I had, uh, she would stick an instrument into my ear and check, uh, take a look into my ear first, and then she put an instrument into my ear that blew air, warm air, into my ear for 60 seconds. And then she would do the same thing on each side. On my left, I haven't been having problems on my left ear, but I have been having problems in my right ear. Um, I had some numbness in my right ear area, uh, even into my face. Um, my ear would ache and um, 
And yeah, that's about, I was having those type of issues in my right ear. So when she put the warm air, it blew into my right ear. I did get the dizziness. Um, so the caloric test is when they use air or water into your eardrum at different temperatures and then they monitor also your eye movements and it also tells you um, the condition of your inner ear. So that's it, it's quite simple. The VNG test is one of the most um, amazing tests that I've had. I mean, it's a really simple test and it's sort of quite fun. So don't be afraid to go to the doctor and get your VNG test. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can get uh, videos the next time I upload and have a good day. See you real soon. Bye-bye.